Hello everyone and welcome to your first official lesson of this tutorial. Here we're just going to become a bit more familiar with idle which is how we're going to build and run our Python programs and we're going to build a very very simple input output type Python program just so that you can get used to the flow of things. So go ahead and open up idle now it should have been automatically installed with Python 3.6 if you're using a Mac you should be able to find this under launch pads in your applications folder simply select idle and it will just open up a new window. Now things will look, will look a little different if you're using a PC as with the rest of the tutorial, but you should see Python 3.6.5 shell regardless of which program you're using. So this is what's called a Python shell in which we can actually write and execute statements right away. Now this is great for kind of single line statements. For example, if I wanted to just print something out, I could say print and then I could put in these uh, quotes here something like hello. If I press enter, it's just going to compile and run that line right away. Now what this isn't great for is writing multiple lines of code and then having them execute complex logic. For that, we might need a new um, text file and then we just run that text file rather than doing everything in the shell itself. So I'll show you how to set that up. Let me just kind of get myself set up here. We're just going to kind of open this up a little bit and then we're just going to go into idle and we'll select a new file. Command N also select or creates a new file for us if we'd like to do things that way. So let's just expand this out. Okay, good stuff. Now it's usually a good idea to give your file a name right away. So I'm just going to go to file with this window selected by the way. We're just going to go to file, we're going to go to save as. And let's just give this guy a name. I'm going to call mine hello, you'll see why very soon. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Okay, make sure it's a Python file with a PY extension. Go ahead and click save, and now it should have renamed your file up here. Now, if we want to do pretty much the same thing that we did here, what we could do is actually just run that same line of code. So just print something like hello. Okay, if I give this a save, make sure I save it and the asterisks will disappear. And then I go to this guy, make sure that this window is selected. We can go to run, run module, or just press F5. Okay, it will do pretty much the same thing, it restarts it, and then it just runs that file there. In this case, the results are exactly the same as uh, with the first case. So that's great, but how is it different from just running it in the shell? Well, in our case, it isn't. What we can do is make this file a little more complex. And what we'll do in our case is actually have it take in some input from the user, and then do something with that input, and then produce some output. Okay, so the way in which we take input in a Python program is through the input function. I'll show you how to use that in just a second. Let's just call our input something like input name. Okay, and we're going to set this equal to the function call to input. We'll open up the parentheses beside it. And within these parentheses, we're going to put a quote or a couple of quotation marks here. And then within these quotations, we're going to enter the prompt for the user. So this will be something like enter a name with a space and this will just be some kind of message to display the user which will prompt them to actually enter some kind of text. Now what we'll do is we'll create another variable called output text and this is just going to be something like it'll be some quotes it can say hello space and then plus whatever name that we entered so input name okay so we're just going to go ahead and give this a save in our print statement rather than just printing hello we're actually going to print out our entire output text so let's give this one final save and before we run it let's just quickly go over what will happen here so this input function will basically prompt the user it will print this to our console and it will say enter a name so the user will have to enter some text they could enter no text if they want and press enter and then what this is going to do is it's going to save whatever text was entered in here it's going to take this text here and it's going to stick whatever we enter here onto the end of this string. It's going to store it in output text and then it's just going to execute this function which will print whatever text is hello plus our input text and it's just going to print it to the console. So it's easier to actually see what will happen once we run it. So we're going to again say, make sure this is saved. We'll go to our run window, run the module and you can see here that it's prompting us to enter a name. So I'm going to enter my own name press enter and now it says hello Nimish. Now depending on which name you entered here it will say hello and then the name you entered if you enter no text so if we go ahead and run this again okay and we entered no text it's just going to say hello. So this is just a very very simple input output type program. 
Now, we don't actually have to run everything through the shell. If we really didn't want to use idle, what we could do is actually create any old file in any kind of a text editor, make sure it's saved as a Python file with a PY extension, and then just run it through the terminal. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. We're just gonna open up terminal. Okay, and what you'll want to do is navigate to where you saved this file. So we'll still be working in idle, so this step isn't necessary. I guess you can consider it bonus, but it's good to know anyway. So in my case, my file here, hello.py, is saved at users slash owl slash desktop slash hello.py. So what I'll need to do is change my current directory because in my terminal here it's owl. This is the root directory I'm at. I'm going to need to change my directory to owl slash desktop because this is where the file is stored. So if I use the command cd desktop, okay, and press enter, you'll now see that my directory root is a desktop rather than just at owl, okay? So now if I use the command ls and press enter, this gives me a list of all of the directories and all of the files in my desktop. As you can see, my file here, hello.py, is in my desktop. And if I want to run this, I'll simply type in Python 3 because I'm running it through Python 3. And then I'm just going to type the name of the file, hello.py. OK, and the is case sensitive, by the way, so you will need to enter the uppercase if that's how you named yours. If you press enter, it's going to do the same thing. It will just prompt me to enter a name. If I enter my own name, press enter, then it's just going to say hello Nimish and finish the execution. OK, so now you've seen two ways to run files. You could run your Python files through the idle shell itself, or you can run it through the terminal. Like I said, we're going to be using the shell, but this is good to know anyway. If you do want to nav if you do want to run things through the terminal, just make sure that you do navigate to your folder by pressing or typing cd and then the directory name. And do this before you try to run your program, otherwise it's going to say likely it can't find the program. Okay? So that's how to run very simple input output type programs um, written in Python through your idle shell. When we come back, we're going to start learning about our Python language basics. So hopefully all these different components will make a little more sense. And we're going to begin with the topic of variables.